Guys, I'm so excited to just introduce my next guest, Miss Lexan Fletcher. Um, Lexan is a Grenadian woman. She's so beautiful inside and out. And I feel really honored to have her on my show. I was really nervous about reaching out and asking you, Lexan, to be on my little YouTube channel, being such a um, media personality. I mean, I know I've been on your show, so I'm kind of like on the flip end to this experience now because you're the expert in this. Mm -hmm. um, you are a talent um, personality, media personality, um, promotions. You're always in front of the camera. You're a wife. You're a mom. You are exemplary. And I really wanted you to come on here mm -hmm. knowing that we celebrate women in March. Um, I wanted you here for Women's Day and, you know, as luck would have it, you're busy, I'm busy, but it's still a blessing to have you here today. Um, my viewers probably wouldn't know this, but you were also Miss Caribbean um, in 1998 and, um, or 99. And like, so you have so many hats. You wear so many hats and you're well known. You're very popular um, on the island of Grenada. And I wanted to just reach out to you, talk to you about how do you balance mom life, wife life, media life, your career. And I thought it was very fitting that we do this in the month of March. So thank you for entertaining me. Um, don't judge me too hard. <laughs> Lexan, um, you're thank very you. successful in media. Um, how did this all, how did it start? What was your journey like? Um, can you share some of the challenges you may have experienced? I know we don't have a lot of time together, so I'm trying to really get a lot out of you in this short space of time. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but can you share your journey and how did you even get started in media as a big media personality? Absolutely. Oh, thank you for that introduction. You know, sometimes <laughs> people introduce me because I'm usually on the other side of the fence, meaning I'm the person doing the interview. Um, and... You know, you've mentioned all those things and I'm saying to myself, my goodness, where's the time gone? <laughs> yeah, there's just so much from the pageant days to, to now and, and previously chit chat, which you know very well. Yes, I've been um, a guest on your show. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a yes. long time, but Binta, congratulations and thank you for reaching out. Thank you. you. Know, like I say, I don't get to talk about me and myself, myself very often, but I am, I am very very honored to be here and sharing this space with you for your project. Thank you. And if I can answer the question um, at the same time in one breath, oh, like I mentioned, this, this whole journey started um, way back in the early, I would say just on the brink of the 90s, because I remember getting my first uh, hosting opportunity um, with a local cable network who said, listen, we have a teen show. We're going to do little bits and pieces on teen topics. Would you like to host this? I got the mic and I never turned back. I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I never turned back. You know, there were, there were minor opportunities prior to that. Um, and I knew ever since I was a little girl that I always wanted to be in the forefront of all the action. You know? <laughs> I mean, growing up, I grew up in Carnival, you know, so <laughs> right. a lot of people know that people reminded me, and, and funny story, I saw a gentleman the other day, well, not the other day, a couple months ago, and he reminded me um, of a year I portrayed a ninja <laughs> in this Carnival frolic, and let me tell you, I was serious about my ninja skills, you know, I was on the stage, I was That is hilarious. <laughs> I was doing all this stuff. I could have been like 15 years old and I just had a ball. But it's it's where I wanted to be. It's what right. I wanted to do, you know? Right. Uh, and like I mentioned, I I never I never looked back. I I that bug bit me with hosting that team, that team show. And like they say, the rest is history. You know, right after that, I completed secondary school. I went on to participate in the National Carnival Queen show. Mm -hmm. That event was a glorious experience for me because all I wanted to do was just go there, do my best, represent right. my parish, and have a good time. <laughs> um, but it was it was such a fantastic time for me. And looking back now, when I tell people I've been doing this for 
practically 30 plus years. It's wow. given away my age yet. But <laughs> you know, I, I look back and I, I, I'm so grateful for the opportunity because, you know, in the Caribbean, you, there are lots of opportunities that you would like to get into or be called upon for, and they don't really happen. Right. But I must say, Venta, you know, after the National Carnival Queen Show, there were so many opportunities, you know, from hosting a radio program to yes. uh, hosting independent produced programs and independent Caribbean productions. It, it was just, it was just a world. And I just knew that, man, I'm loving it here. <laughs> I'm loving it here. You know, and, and it made me happy. I, even up to this day, I, I always tell people, I love doing what makes my heart happy. And, and that's, that's media. But it's and that's what matters. Events, you know, just you <laughs> name it. It's, it's an incredible journey. And right. you know, I, just, I really, and now I'm, at, I'm just looking back and I'm saying, you know, I'm so happy that I embraced the opportunities that came my way. I'm so happy I did. I'm glad you share that. You know, it's really interesting to hear how you evolved over time, you know, from being in the pageant, being a ninja. I cannot imagine you being a ninja at all. <laughs> <laughs> But your household name, I mean, every, I'm pretty sure every person in Grenada knows Lex and Fletcher, like you're the TV personality, you're always in front of the camera, and your household name, you know, and it's really interesting to see how your career evolved over time. But, you know, sometimes with the good, the glamour, the positive, um, people tend to not see the struggles you know, behind that person. So Lexan, did you ever really um, encounter some hardships and challenges to get from point A to point B? I don't want to assume it was always like smooth sailing for you. I knew you became a mom. I know that in itself would have posed some challenges for you. Yeah. Um, I know you're a wife and that's a different hat you have to wear as well. Um, so did you... Uh, encounter any major challenges and how did you overcome those challenges because I don't want to sell the idea that it's all glamour behind the camera it's all glamour people do not see the struggles even as someone trying to do um in my case YouTube and you know Facebook and a little fitness thing um everyone's like oh my gosh you have it together you have a small business you have children you have this you have that, that, that. and I'm like you guys don't see the sleepless nights the tears the sweat wanting to give up um, it takes a lot. So how do you pull it off? Um, have you really uh, dealt with the challenge um, at some point? And how did you overcome that challenge? And what advice would you give to someone, like a, a young lady who's trying to make it, but yeah. having to do so much? What advice can you share? Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. It, you know, I, I must admit, you know, when you're younger, you you're more, you're agile, you're flexible, and I'm speaking in every single way. <laughs> you can party and wake up at six o'clock and four hours sleep, you know, all these things. And during the early stages of my career, ooh, boy, did I wear many hats. I wore, you know, I wore a multitude of hats and I was right. going from hosting my own uh, shows to, and having my own aerobic classes. I'm not sure if you know about that one, you know? And, and then <laughs> I do. <laughs> so much going on. Right. And like I said, I truly embraced it. But then, you know, there comes a time where you have to shift the gears, you know? I became a mother. Things became a little bit more uh, taxing on balancing time. Um, but at the same length and breadth, I... I learned to balance. I had to balance because I, one of the things I didn't want was to focus so much on this glorious career that I had going. Mm -hmm. forget, forget my child, then my first, who's 17 now. Um, but I think the most challenging thing if I had to discuss a particular stage um, in my life and career would have been at the end of the conclusion of what would have been one of the biggest accomplishments in my TV career chit chat now oh yes yeah <laughs> chit chat started as a, a really exciting uh, partnership with myself and back then we made a cable vision mm -hmm. which then became flow that show ran for a decade you know i, wow. I see it and i still wow 10 it's years been a decade, <laughs> right? oh, that's, you know, that's a lot of time 
It is, you know, <laughs> that journey, I, I learned so much and I met so much incredible people such as yourself. <laughs> but then came the end of that, that journey. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of things changed personally, you know, I was dealing with personal issues um, with the health of my father and things started taking a turn for not, not the worst, I don't want to say the worst, but I had to step back, okay. you know, I had to step back. And even though I felt, you know, chit chat ended, what am I going to do? What, what's happening? I, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to continue, but there were other priorities. You know, there were other things that were at the forefront of my life and the people I care about um, at that point in time. And I had to do some inventory, you know? Okay. I had to do some inventory, I had to step back. Um, and there were times I was, I was unhappy, you know? Because I missed doing what I love to do, you know? But responsibility came along and I, I had to wear a different hat. Right. You know, I got back into the the working the working field, the eight to four, the nine to five, yeah. and I had to do it because it had to be done. You know, um, and all in all, I was I know I was doing this for a reason that was bigger than me. Okay. But in the back of my mind, my heart was unhappy. You know, I I was in a place where I thought. Are folks going to forget about the chit chat and uh, the, you know, all the great things that I've done in the past? Are they, you know, because, you know, now is the relevance game. We're really right. in a time where people do what they absolutely have to do in order to, to remain relevant, right. you know, especially right. in this particular field. But I was really, at, I was in limbo. I was at war with myself. I was like, yes, I know I'm doing the right thing here by stepping back. <laughs> But what's going to happen with my career? Are things going to happen? Yeah. You know, um, and I had to be, sh I had to dress and show up, you know. Um, and I think one of the toughest things that I had to deal with was walking into an office space or a work environment and thinking, I wonder what they're thinking. I wonder what they're saying, you know, because. Here I am, people are like, you know, lady on TV, you don't do a TV anymore. What's yeah. going on? You know, right. that kind of thing. Um, and Grenada's a small, you know, Grenada's a small place, you know. So they miss you for a minute and then like, what's happening? You're done? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I want a break. You know, <laughs> I think people do it all the time. People go on hiatus. People take time to breathe and then right. come back again um, when the time is right to, but that was really challenging for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's very, it was very challenging because I, I, I questioned a lot of things in my career and I questioned a lot of things that I wanted to do. Was it the right time? Am I making the right choice? Will I get that, uh, you know, the reception that I received back with other projects? Would that happen again? And Winter, we're talking about the pandemic. The pandemic oh, came gosh. And, mm -hmm. and everything just went, ooh. Everything just yeah. crashed. Yeah. Um, and I remember, you know, I had this idea. I'm like, you know, I need to get back on the horse and start doing my interviews again because right. I'm just talking to people. <laughs> I'm talking to people. I want to know what's going on with you, such as what right. you're doing now. Right. You know? and, and a dear, dear friend of mine by the name of, I have to mention her, Yvette Noel Shore. We had a chat one day. She realized that I, I was not sounding the way that I usually sound. And she said, listen, don't put it off any longer. Do it. Brand it. Like Sand TV. Okay. Just do it. And there was a light bulb. I'm like, you know, sometimes you know what you want to do and you can do it, but you still question yourself. And you, you still need that little thing, right. right. Yeah. You hold yourself back and you wonder, why the I'm like holding myself back. <laughs> All it takes is one voice. It just takes one voice. Well, that was the second voice because my husband is very supportive as well. You right. know, and he, you need to do it. Do it now. If not now, 
when? When, right. You know, and Lexan TV came back. Lexan, well, not came back, but Lexan TV was born <laughs> you know, in the middle of a pandemic, online, on Facebook. And I was happy again. You know, <laughs> I, I was saying to myself, lots of folks are doing so much things now right. just to pass the time, just to ease the pain, you know, just to connect with people virtually. I hope I don't get lost in the noise. I hope I don't get lost in the crowd, but I didn't. And I, I because I was doing what I love to do and sharing the stories that I know people want to hear, you know, and Lex on TV is just flying again. It's, it's <laughs> flying, it's flying. And my heart is smiling again. And I'm grateful. That, yeah, that, you know, all that you have it's said true. truly resonates with me. Um, so I own a skincare business and now I'm getting the questions. Did you stop? I didn't stop. I took a break because there are other things that are really demanding my attention right now. And, you know, whenever you take, um, you get into a position where you're doing so much, people expect so much, especially Caribbean people. And Grenada is so small. So I can only imagine what you are dealing with on the island. It's such a small place. Um, I'm really glad you touched on, um, you know, the importance of stepping back, yeah. taking a break, reevaluating. And then just finding what you need to get back to the place of being happy. I think sometimes a lot of us, especially women, we tend to drown our feelings and, you know, put everything on hold because we're women. We're supposed to be strong. We're supposed to be the strong ones for everyone else. And we're supposed to carry everyone's weight. But I'm really, really glad you said, you know, knowing how big you are, um, and people are so familiar with you that you're now sharing that you, even you, had to take a step back and reevaluate. Mm -hmm. And I also liked that you mentioned your support system, your friend, your husband. Um, it just shows that it's really, really important to make sure you have people in your life that you can turn to. Um, you know, those strong friend friendships are really, really important. Um, I'm kind of, I'm thinking, you know, what would have been, <laughs> what would have happened mm -hmm. if Lexan didn't have the support that she did? Because there are people out there who really don't. They don't feel comfortable opening up to people. They don't feel comfortable reaching out to anyone. Um, and it sounds like that was really a hard period of time. I know off camera you shared, you know, your dad passed away and that was a very hard time for you. I also had um, death in my family. My grandmother was true and there to me. I grew up with her in her house. So I really understand where you're coming from, you know, regarding loss and how loss can affect your whole um, persona. It, it, you know, it affects how you feel as a person. So, you know, it's really, really, uh, to me, like a thing back in the Caribbean, back in Grenada, we don't always open up about what's hard and what's tough and what's challenging. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, really glad you're sharing that. And hopefully that encourages someone, anyone looking at this to know that it's okay to not be okay. Indeed. So, Indeed. you know, you shared so much. Um, I don't even know where <laughs> you shared <laughs> so much. And it's, uh, to me, it's a little bit, um, it caught me off guard because I didn't think you would have shared so much. I'm always like, <laughs> should I go there? Should I hold back? That kind of thing. But I really, really appreciate that you you took that segue and you talked about it in such yeah. depth, you know. Um, so, like I said, I, I want to know, you know, you mentioned the whole aerobics and, and so on. And I'm not getting <laughs> on you about that at all. But my mom, who was also a guest on Chit Chat, I mean, Chit Chat was a fun show. Um yeah. She was the one who told me, you know, Lexa is into fitness. And da, da, da. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'll reach out. Maybe when I come to Grenada, I will drop by and take one of her little classes, one of her sessions. Um, this is a fitness channel. So I want to find some way to kind of talk about that briefly. Um, yeah, what yeah. got you there? What got you into fitness? Did you see a need for fitness in the community as a whole? Or were you doing this just for yourself? Were you being like, mm -hmm. um, I know you were an instructor. So did you take on that role because you felt like other people needed the guidance and just to get better with their wellness and health? Or was it something you wanted to do for yourself and then it grew into something else? Well, it's an interesting story. So 
No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's an story. And if I tell you, um, I got involved in fitness in my early 20s. You know, we, my husband, friends, we used to be, we used to be the gym junkies, you know, we, woo and, and we're there and we're doing our thing and all of that, you know. And then when my relationship with the local Grenada Cablevision um, started, I, I was actually one of the persons attending an aerobic session with an incredible oh. person by the name of Chris Fox. I've never got to mention Chris's name in an I don't think. So I'm very excited to mention him now. We used to attend these fitness sessions at um, the, uh, what building is that? The, the, the building on the Port Highway in Tantina. And um, I think the unions use it a lot for meeting and, mm -hmm. meeting and stuff like that. But listen, three times a week, we go there <laughs> and to wet it out to aerobics. And you know the aerobics I'm talking about. The yes. one with the techno music <laughs> and uh, the R&B mixes with I know. You know, and, and fast pace. Let me tell you, we'll get to my current state of my aerobic business just now. But anyway, um, <laughs> but, you know, we used to do that. And then Chris got the opportunity to host a fitness show on Channel 6, Grenada. Right. Oh, re really? Hey, listen, I'm going to pull you in, and I'm going to pull you in. Two lovely ladies, one was Gail Purcell, and the other one was Ellen. And listen, <laughs> we had a ball of a time. But then Chris had to move on to other things. Right. Story short, I'm getting excited talking about this. <laughs> Chris had to move on to other things, and he said, listen, they want to keep the series going. Right. I want to pass the baton up onto you. Are you up for it? I'm like, up for what? He's like, you do this. I'm like, do what? Like, lead the sessions on the TV show. And I'm like, oh, why not? You know? Right. He, he was incredible. He, he was my teacher. He taught me everything I know with the fitness and in the aerobic sessions and stuff. Okay. Put that up. And the next thing you know, 12 shows later, 12 episodes later, <laughs> Like Sam was doing aerobic workouts on television. Oh my goodness. Two lovely ladies. And <laughs> we were blowing up because everybody used to say, listen, I lost a few hundred pounds on this. I love the program. Why don't oh, they bring it back? You know, even up to today, people talk right. about, you know, I met a young lady. She said, Miss, I remember you from Flow Workout. Oh, and I used to work out <laughs> and I was this high. And I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> You know, so it really was just, it, I don't know, I did it for me. And then the whole TV thing with the fitness show on TV, I did it for the people and I did it for, people, for, for Chris and for everybody else. And I thoroughly enjoyed I it. I hope Chris is well, watching this. Sorry? <laughs> it was incredible. Oh my goodness. Well, at I least you it. had fun. You know, fitness is supposed <sighs> to be fun as well. <laughs> But I don't remember, I, I don't remember, I know I saw one session with you somewhere online, I can't remember, but I'm like, you know, what stopped you, you need to get back, people are looking I forward to this, know. especially during a pandemic, I feel like this would have blown up during a pandemic, so, yeah. I mean, you know, I like, know. so that could be something you can dabble in again. <laughs> I think, you know, and, and I remember, I, when I had my business going, my aerobic classes, mm -hmm. I, I had a, a little incident, and I broke my foot, um, and Whoa. then I had to, I had to heal, and I, that was the end of my class because I, I couldn't find someone to keep the classes going whilst I healed. Um, and then a lot of things happened, you know, baby number two came, and my wife <laughs> said, woo woo. Right. And I said, oh no. And then I, but you know, I always say, and, and I'm going to bring up my husband's name again because he always used to tell me, you know, I think you should really do start like that thing, you know, and start classes. I'm like, man, there's so many different classes right. now. The gym's got things going. This one has things going. But you never know. You know, right. you never know. Right. But my dream, Binta, because I know you're a fitness lady as well, I would <laughs> love to definitely bring back a fitness show right. on, local, on, on local television. I really would love to do it. I, I know you, I know it will do well. I mean, you're already established. I just, people are asking for you, so I know you will do well. Lexa, this has been a, a wonderful, I, to me, experience. It's such a joy listening to you, and I wish we can go on for hours and hours, because now you have me, like, questions are all over the place. 
but I'll leave it for there for now. Um, I don't want this to be the last time. Maybe the next time we'll be in person again. We have done that before, but um, it was such a joy having you on my program, on my channel. And I just sincerely appreciate you just giving like the time. You know, I know you're very busy. Um, so don't ever think that your time isn't appreciated. I just feel really, really lucky to even get you on here for such a short period of time. That's thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're so welcome and thank you again. Listen, you've just made my Sunday. And All right. I, it's just, you know, I, I'm like, okay, whoo, I'm ready for this, you know, talk about motivation. <laughs> motivation. Oh my goodness, I was struggling. Oh, I mean, full disclosure, I'm struggling with a sinus infection. <laughs> Oh, and I'm like, I'm not canceling this. We're going to do this. <laughs> and I'm sure you feel a little better. I do. <laughs> but I'm seeing all that sunshine in the background. I'm like, man, I need to go home. <laughs> oh, gosh. Looking forward to seeing you in person. And I know. hopefully soon. Yeah. Hopefully and, soon. and we got to do this thing the other way around as Bye. well. It's <laughs> great for me to feature you on like San TV. And Thank I would love know. to share this uh, chat with my my. Followers. Of course. Like of course. Well. So this is going to be fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lexan. You're most welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Do take, take care, care of me. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Guys, thank you so much. Um, I will definitely link uh, Lexan's information be below. Make sure you follow, 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 follow. Lots of interesting content. Um, and I don't know what else. I will get your social media handles and you guys can follow that as well. So until next time, peace and do take care. Bye.